first we had the porcelain pipe pump. We then had the hex and rain firestorm. But step aside, peasants, we have some newcomers. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and today I bring you my top 5 must get grenades, post hex and firestorm nerf. If you guys do enjoy the video and would like to leave a thumbs up, I'd very much appreciate that. Also subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Again, every week I give away copies of this game to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so grenades are a massive part of 95% of player builds. We have seen some beasts in the past, mainly the pipe bomb capable of utter destruction, the hex variants and the firestorm variants. These have all since been nerfed though. Now I will state the pipe bomb was clearly broke, that needed a nerf. The hex and firestorm were nerfed but not completely taken out of the mix. I mean both are still great viable grenades and to be honest could easily make this list. But I wanted to do something new. Everyone's top 5 grenades consist of hex and firestorms. Take these out of the equation and that's what today's list is all about people. So let's get into it. Now the spots you'll see me use here are obviously for demonstration purposes only. I use said grenades for said instances. So firstly we have a grenade which has been here from the get go and I believe is a popular one. It's called the Storm Front. Now this grenade I will state isn't really one I would consider a DPS grenade. This is one I would use like a tether or an assist grenade. As the way it works you throw the grenade it splits using that Merv addition. This spawns additional grenades and you all kind of like tether a centre target or they surround a target and you can do this while you're doing damage above all weapons. And as you will see for this mob control although it's fairly decent compared to others I will feature today you will see a big difference. I will admit my version does have a low item score but even still in my opinion the Stormfront isn't a DPS grenade it's one like I said used for assisting you in killing or damaging a target. Now the best place to farm this grenade is Captain Tron upon Athenus. So if this grenade looks to be something that fits your build, be sure to try it out as I do recommend it. Okay so next up we have a grenade I actually don't think I've seen anyone cover. Now with the epicenter as we know it's a decent grenade, mainly seen used by anointed enemies. And this variant I have seen a couple of videos on, but I've never seen any videos on the upgraded version, the spring epicenter. And what this does is it basically doubles up on those balls spawned. And although this is definitely an instance only grenade, not capable of usage in certain scenarios, but for what I need, these are a force to be reckoned with. So this is a world drop grenade, definitely one to keep your eyes open for. <laughs> Next up we have an epic variant of a grenade. Now there are many variants of this exploder and they can vary massively. This is one of two on this list due to the other one being very unique in its own way. So this grenade, the Amplified Rapture Exploder. This grenade as you can see spawns three Merv grenades. Has the benefit of a link also and also has that nuke which let me tell you guys is absolutely crazy and the damage this deals is wow off the scale. So how this works is, as you can see on screen now, with this you throw a single grenade, it then explodes causing a mini nuke and then spawns three more additional grenades, Mervs. 
These again explode causing mini nukes and while the damage this is capable of is absolutely amazing. Now it does consume 2 grenades per use but it increases its damage up to 50% from each explosion. So this is an amazing grenade for clearing mobs of enemies and will be insane for grenade spamming builds. Now this grenade may be a world drop, I ain't certain on that, but I always see different variants within vending machines, especially the one within Slaughter Shaft. Another very similar grenade to this one is the Amplified Mega Vision Exploder. This also doing great crazy damage, in fact even more than the Amplified Rapture Exploder on paper, but the lack of mervs which cause additional damage means its DPS is slightly lower. Open your bloody eyes! At 2 we have a collection of 3 epic grenades which are incredible guys and these are well they could fit any build out there. These are the same variant to the last one we covered but in my opinion have the edge. The cluster F explorer variants are just super fun to watch in action as you will see. Now as the hex is the favourite grenade to many, this works in kind of a similar way, just without the homing and the hex addition. But as you guys will see, the grenade truly gets to work, seemingly spawning endless grenades due to that Merv stat, spawning in 14 individual grenades, all doing great damage. Now I have 3 different elemental types of these, cryo radiation and corrosive, and as you will see, they're actually game breaking. Still got it. But on a serious note, these variants are a super powerful means of taking out masses of ads. I truly recommend you trying to find these, again vending machines seem to be your best bet in getting them. Now if one was out there with homing on it, that I would believe would be a whole new level of craziness. Okay, so in at number one and the best grenade in the game in my opinion right now and is a must get and you have until December 5th to get your hands on it is the gas cool. Now the gas cool as far as I've seen comes in four variants, the standard gas cool, the roided gas cool, the cloning gas cool and the vindicator gas cool which takes the benefits of both the roided and cloning and applies them to one, giving you the split into two upon throwing it and the 20% additional damage. This I don't have yet. But I do have the cloning and I can 100% guarantee you guys from using this alone that the Vindicator is the best in the game. These are must get grenades people, they really are. Now these to me act like the Hex in many many ways, splitting upon throwing them, then homing, then all that destruction they cause, the gas core then seemingly spawns additional ghosts, up to 10 I've seen per grenade throw and they all hunt down that enemy causing massive damage. These are insane for enemy control and boss fights too. Now this grenade is only available during this bloody harvest event and drops from Captain Haunt and Loot Ghosts, so make the most out of them while you can people. So yes, the best grenade in the game in my opinion right now is the Gas Cool, exclusive to the bloody harvest event. Now people, if I were to make this a top 7 grenade, adding in the Firestorm and the Hex grenades, I'd still give the crown to that Gas Cool. Putting the Hex and Firestorm near the top, the Hex at 2 meaning the Cluster Explorer gets pushed back to 3 and I'd put the Firestorm in that 4 meaning the Amplified gets knocked down to 5, the Epicenter down to 6 and the Storm Front down to 7. This is how I'd rate all top level grenades. The Hex in my opinion is still being a seriously viable option though, in fact all grenades featured today hit the right spot one way or another. So yeah guys these are my top 5 or 7 must have grenades. If there's one you recommend I try it out, do let me know in that comment section down below. Also guys, credit to Trolling Donkey for helping me out with many of these grenades. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Well thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.